When an egg cell and a sperm cell, the gametes, unite to form a zygote, their chromosomes are combined into a single cell. But in order to form a cell with 46 chromosomes, the number of chromosomes in the gametes must be reduced to the haploid state. This occurs through a mechanism called meiosis. Unlike mitosis, meiosis consists of two cell divisions, meiosis I and meiosis II. This process begins in meiosis I, with the replication and condensation of DNA. Meiosis I ends with forming two haploid cells from a diploid cell. To ensure that each haploid cell contains all 23 chromosomes, homologous chromosomes are paired up before they are split. Parts of the homologous chromosomes may cross over, leading to the exchange of chromosomal regions. This is called homologous recombination. The chromosome pairs are subsequently disjoined, such that each daughter cell randomly contains one of the two homologous chromosomes. During meiosis II, the chromatids of each chromosome are separated, forming four different haploid cells. The chromosomal shuffling that occurs as a result of homologous recombination and the random distribution of homologous pairs of chromosomes and chromatids is important for diversifying the genetic composition in each gamete. However, mistakes can happen during these processes, which can lead to chromosomal abnormalities with big consequences. They are, for instance, the leading cause of pregnancy loss, with about 50% of spontaneous abortions in the first trimester caused by chromosomal abnormalities. Furthermore, chromosomal abnormalities are responsible for a significant fraction of genetic diseases, as they occur in approximately one of every 150 live births. Chromosomal abnormalities can roughly be divided in two types, numerical and structural abnormalities. When a numerical chromosomal abnormality occurs, the number of chromosomes in somatic cells is not 46. Cells that contain missing or additional individual chromosomes are termed aneuploid. When one chromosome is missing, we talk about a monosomy, and when one extra chromosome is present, it is called a trisomy. Embryos with a mono or trisomy of chromosomes are mostly incompatible with life and lead to spontaneous abortions. The only exceptions are aneuploides of the sex chromosomes, which cause Turner or Kleinfelter syndrome, and trisomies of autosomes 13, 18 and 21 that cause Patau, Edwards and Down syndrome respectively. Numerical chromosomal abnormalities are caused by non-disjunction during meiosis. This usually happens in meiosis I, when two chromosome homologues are not separated, but can also happen in meiosis II, when the chromatids are not split, leading to the formation of a gamete with extra or missing chromosomes. After fertilization, the zygote will be aneuploid. Most chromosomal abnormalities cover only parts of chromosomes. Those are called structural variations. There are four types of structural variants. Deletions, duplications, inversions or translocations. They range anywhere from a thousand to millions of nucleotides, sometimes covering multiple genes. Structural variants can occur when homologous chromosomes line up improperly during meiosis, for example, leading to unequal crossover 
and loss or gain of parts of a chromosome of the gamete. Chromosomes can also break during meiosis or due to certain harmful agents. Although the break is usually repaired perfectly, repair errors may cause the removal or rearrangement of parts of the chromosome. In this way, structural variants can arise in somatic cells as well. Structural variants can be categorized as unbalanced or balanced. Deletions and duplications are always unbalanced, as there is a net loss or gain in genetic material. They are also referred to as copy number variations, or CNVs, and may be present anywhere from zero to more than a dozen copies in a genome. Inversions are always balanced, as there is no change in the amount of DNA. Translocations can be both. When they are balanced, they are called reciprocal translocation, as parts of two different chromosomes exchange material. However, the carrier of a balanced reciprocal translocation can pass on the genetic material in an unbalanced manner. Unbalanced translocations include Robertsonian translocations, a one-way transfer from one chromosome to another homologous or non-homologous chromosome. Here, the long arms of two acrocentric chromosomes, which are chromosomes 13, 14, 15, 21 or 22, fuse with each other. The short arms of both chromosomes are lost in this process. This has no effect on the carrier because the short arms of the involved chromosomes are very small and contain no essential genetic material. However, as the chromosomes are joined, there is a reduction in the number of chromosomes. Like reciprocal translocations, Robertsonian translocations may affect the offspring of carriers since they may originate from a gamete with a missing or an extra chromosome, causing either a partial monosomy or trisomy. If chromosomes 13 or 21 are involved, this could lead to Patau or Down syndrome respectively. There are different ways how structural variants can lead to disorders. Deletions can remove one or multiple genes, while duplications may multiply genes. Furthermore, gene sequences may be disrupted by balanced structural variants, causing a loss of gene function. Mendelian inheritance patterns may be observed for some disorders when the structural variant is transmitted through the germline. Finally, the structural rearrangements can also produce new genes. For instance, when one gene is fused with another gene, many cancers originate from these structural variants in somatic cells. This is why DNA damage is a critical factor in cancer development. To end on a positive note, most structural variations do not affect crucial regions of the genome and do not cause disease. In fact, our genome is riddled with CNVs and other structural variations, just like common genetic variants. They contribute to the variety in human individuals and help making each of us unique.